Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve the question number 16 of exercise 9.1. The question says the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at a distance of 4 meter and 9 meter from the base of the tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary. You have to prove that the height of the tower is 6 meters. So the question says there is a tower and on this road there are two objects and the angle of elevation from these objects are complementary. Complementary basically means complementary angles are the pair of two angles whose sum is equals to 90 degrees means if theta is the first angle and phi is the second angle theta is the first and phi is the second and if the sum of these angle is 90 degree then the pair of these two angles are known as complementary I'm saying if one angle is 30 degree so obviously is complementary must be equals to 60 degrees then only the sum of these two angles will be equals to 90 degrees. So in this case you have to prove that the height of this star is equals to 6 meter when the first object is 4 meter away from the base and the second is 9 meter away from this base and if I name this A, B, C and this is D and obviously this tar must be perpendicular to the ground and if I suppose one angle as theta so obviously its complementary must be 90 minus theta this I have already discussed that if angle is 30 the second will be 90 minus 30 which is 60 degree so if I consider this as theta so obviously the second angle will be 90 minus theta so these two are known as complementary you can either suppose this as theta and this will be 90 minus theta or you can suppose this as theta the second will be 90 minus theta that won't make any difference in your solution now again we have two triangles the first is a b c this bigger one and the second is a d c again you have to use the ratio for 10 theta in both the triangle and then accordingly you have to solve now let's solve in the first triangle which is ADB in the smaller one in triangle ADB 10 theta will be equal to perpendicular upon base here the theta is we have considered as theta and the perpendicular we have supposed as H and we have to prove that the value of this H is 6 meters and for this triangle the base is 4 meters so here instead of base I can write 4 meters this is our first equation in the second triangle which is A B C again 10 theta will be equal to perpendicular upon base and for this bigger triangle theta we have supposed as 90 minus theta so in this case this will be 90 minus theta the perpendicular will be same for this triangle also which is the side opposite to this theta which is h and base for this bigger triangle will be 9 meters so this will be 9 meters and in the previous chapter we have known that the complementary to 10 theta is cot theta means 10 90 minus theta can be written as cot theta these two values are same so instead of 10 90 minus theta what we can write is cot theta is equal to h upon 9 this is our second equation this is because 10 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta now we have two equations in these kind of equations what we have to do is we have to multiply these equations instead of replacing the values what we need to do is we have to multiply these two equations now multiplying these two equations 
मल्टीप्लाइंग इक्वेशन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड सो ऑब्वियसली द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद ईच अदर तो टेन थीटा मल्टीप्लाइड विद कॉट थीटा इज इक्वल टू हेयर एच अपॉन फोर विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद एच अपॉन नाइन नाउ कॉट थीटा कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन अपॉन टेन थीटा दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर trigonometric ratio that cot theta is equals to 1 upon 10 theta means these are reciprocal to each other and 10 theta is equals to 1 upon cot theta you can write this as 1 upon cot theta as well and here this will be multiplied this will be h square and this will be 36 this can be cancel and cross multiplying this here h square will be equals to 36 because here when this and this is multi cancelled out Only one will remain, and 36 multiplied by one will give 36. So the value of h will be 36 under root. Uh, already we have uh, we know that when we have to remove the square, we have to under root both sides. We have to square root both sides, and the square root of uh, 36 is 6. So here the value of h is 6, which we have to prove that the value of h is 6 meters. so this is how you can prove this last question of this exercise i hope you have understood how to solve these questions of height and distance if you like these videos please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you